Vincent Hailulu, the chief executive officer of NHE, dismissed the claims, saying that the architectural company has been paid according to the terms of the agreement, which was 12% of all estimated cost of completion of stage one of the rental housing project in Enana. Hailulu said that as professionals, other mature methods of problem solving should have been taken instead of the drastic steps Kathindi took. The unprecedented behavior and action of Mr. Kathindi last week Friday were motivated by problems and challenges he might be facing in his personal or professional life rather than the so-called <coughs> NHE debt he is claiming. And that NHE is simply made a scapegoat here, unfortunately. There must be other ways and means through which we engage professionally, we engage in a mature way, and not some becoming behavior that might result into some defamatory uh, state of, of affairs. Kathini Esper Agreement was the principal agent who had to pay constructional engineers, electrical engineers, and the quantity surveyors, and NHA was not responsible for paying contractors directly. The overall cost estimate of the project was 9.9 .9 million at the time. NHA paid the 12% of the completion of phase one, which was over 900,000 during 2009 and 2010 as professional fees, which the remainder is due to be paid towards the completion of the second phase in 2012. Checks were presented to the media as proof of payment. 9.9 .9 million, that should now be applicable to consulting fees, it is in total supposed to be 1.3 million. That is what is supposed to be paid to Mr. Kathindi. And out of that, he is supposed then to pay all the professionals that are actually falling under him. Having paid 967,000 that I have mentioned earlier, what you are actually left with is a balance of over 400,000 which is the reminder of the 25%. According to Hailulu, the misunderstanding came in when Kathindi was asked to revise an invoice in submitted the, in to NHE the amounting to 460,000, including 15% value added tax, whereby he refused. We were actually going to pay more than what we have agreed upon as far as the total amount of fees is concerned. That's how my technical team took up that matter with Mr. Kathendi to say, no, there's no way we can process the payment as far as this bill is concerned. And that's what led to the meeting that took place in, in June uh, subsequently, to say no. And everybody agreed, including the quantity surveyor, that there was an inclusion of 1.8 million wrongly VAT, which was not supposed to be there. And so the... 460,000 was based on a much higher figure of the total. So we couldn't actually have gone ahead to pay under the circumstances because of the amount that is actually captured in the, in the, in, in, in the bill, which is the story that, that we are still having today. Even when the revision was done, it's our submission and our contention that 285,000 is not due for payment now rather than 214. Hailulu says that despite thousands of dollars paid to Ben Kathindi Architects, there was a slow progress in the construction of the rental flats.